was watching Law and Order the other night. Actually, it was a couple of nights ago, and Rosie Perez was on there. I hadn't seen her in a long time. And she was wearing the cutest curls. She had the springy curls, and I said, hmm, I would love to, you know, curl my uh, lace front or my full lace wig like that. And the curls actually looked like this. They were all over her head, kind of messy looking, and they were flowing, and they were just simply gorgeous. So I said, um, let me take on a little project here before I get my weave, and I'm um, getting my weave done tomorrow. And uh, I decided that I would try to recreate those curls. And so the first thing that I knew that I would need would be a curling wand that was as small as those curls so I picked up uh, stopped by Sally's and picked up a power IQ now um, you've seen me feature this on one of my videos before can't remember which video but you guys have seen it um, I have the wider version I think I have the one and a half or one and one fourth this is the three eighths version and I really like this curling wand. It's inexpensive and it has, uh, gives out good heat and it has the temperature control and I really like that. So this one goes from 200 to 450 and it does heat up instantly. And it was only $23.99. So I picked that up. It also has a stand attached to it. Um, just in case I mess up the curl I have my flat irons on standby my baby list uh, pro flat iron so I can flat iron that section of hair and restart the curls over I'm gonna have some duck clips here to hold the hair as I section it and you probably hear Tiki eating she never eats until I get ready to do a video I don't know about that one um, Sally Sally's has a special going on until the 31st of December if you purchase one of their power IQ curling wands you will actually get free a power IQ baby flat iron and that is a value of $20 so that was another reason why I picked one up because you know you could actually give this away as a gift uh, me I'm not giving this away as a gift I'm gonna actually keep this at my job and that way if I ever have a bad hair day, I know that I have a flat iron available, you know, at work. You can leave it in your car, you can leave it at your mom's house, wherever you think you would need a flat iron, an extra flat iron. So this was a good value. So again, buy a full size Power IQ curling wand and get the flat iron free. Good until December 31st. All right, some other things that I purchased or picked up while I was at Sally's. When you have a lot of hair, you know, such as a weave or your full lace wigs, it's, it's kind of hard to use the traditional ponytail holders. So I picked these up. These are called ponytail hooks, and we'll see how these go, uh, how this works out. So it just has the little hooks on them, and you wrap it around your hair and then just hook them together. So I am a product junkie, so I picked that up. I also picked up some larger clips. To help hold the hair and let's see these are by hair art power clips you get four in a package and i think they were 3.99 or something like that um and i picked up some more duck clips because i use those to section and hold the hair as well as i picked up wig cap and i only bought one because they've changed manufacturers for the wig cap so I don't know if this is going to be the same color that I normally wear so we're going to try these out and if they are I'll go back and pick up some more because normally I buy like five at a time and then that way I'll have them. You get two in a pack and they're 99 cents and they call it the neutral color. Okay so let's go on and get started. First thing we do as you guys know we have to apply some heat protectant and I picked this up at Sally's as well and I just spray a little bit on my hand and I just run it through the hair. Hope you guys can hear me with all that crunching in the background. My girl's hungry. Of 
okay and we're going to section off now this is going to take me a minute because with this little curler and all this hair <laughs> i might be here till tomorrow still curling so if you happen to see me wearing a different sweater or something like that don't be surprised or if you see it changes from night to to daytime don't be surprised either because it's about six o'clock on monday december the 20th and i just said well let me go and try to do this real quick so i don't know how quick this is going to be but i'm gonna do it all right so we're going i've already sectioned a little piece and we're just going to wrap it around the iron i have the iron set at 320 and again this iron can actually go all the way up to 450 so we just wrap it around wrap it around as many times as i can until i get to the end and i didn't keep it on too long one one thousand two one thousand and then i release it Be careful because the curling iron is very, very hot. Okay, she got a little caught there. That didn't turn out too good, did it? We're going to do this again. Now, the back one turned out great. That one turned out a little bit funky. Wrapped it too tight. So, let's try this again. So, this is why I had the flat iron on standby. So, I could just take the flat iron. And guess what? It turned off. Better wait for that to heat up. Um... So that I could just use the flat iron to straighten it back up. Just in case I didn't quite make it the first time around. Nothing like live TV, huh? That Babyless Pro heats up pretty fast, so... And I think I'm going to turn down, um, turn down this iron just a little bit. I think it's a little bit too hot. So we're going to turn it down to 280 because we don't want to fry the hair. 